These days, computer designs tend to follow one basic philosophy. Make it look like an apple. But back in the early 2000s, things weren't quite so simple. And I think I found a shining example of that. It's a solid wood PC case from 2009, built to look like an old timey radio. Somebody actually bought that? Somebody actually bought this. And today we're gonna build a computer in it. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy exploring the computer trends that for some reason never caught on, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Throughout the 90s, computer makers just kind of chucked components into beige boxes and called it a day. The most you could hope for was interesting floppy placement. But the 2000s brought change. Apple discovered a rainbow of color while Dell infested computer labs with a plague of gray. And a small company called NMedia PC decided to take this ethos of exploration as far as it would go. Maybe a little too far. With this, the HTPC 8000, the first wooden HTPC case. Now, viewers of a certain age might not remember the HTPC days. That stands for Home Theater PC. Back before the streaming service nightmare that we live in today, we would build whole computers to stick in the living room and play our media. It really felt like the future back then. And media built a lot of these kind of cases, meant to blend in with your living room media center decor, whether your style was sleek and modern or, I guess, 1930s railroad tycoon. Weird, but impressive. So this thing is honestly pretty wild. It is really wood. This front panel here, well, that's plastic, but it holds all your PC case gubbins. There's a multi-card reader, USB ports. This is a power button and there's a reset switch. There is an access LED here. And behind this flap, optical drive. This panel here is actually just a dummy, but I read that some models did come with an LCD that would display certain stats or fan speeds or something. These two speaker grills, unfortunately, there's no speaker behind them. It's just for show, although I may mount some speakers there just for fun. And around the back here, we have all of our normal PC stuff, which again, is wild to see in this form factor. This system actually came with a computer built into it, which is some sort of old AMD, but it doesn't want to boot up. So we're going to take it out of there. And the optical drive caddy is held on by actual wood screws. <laughs> and yeah, you can see the interior of this quite well now. Nothing behind these speaker grills, but more than enough room for some USB speakers. Now, as to what we're gonna put in here, I have something kind of special. If you've been around the channel for a while, you might remember that we turned an old wall-mounted industrial PC into the world's worst Steam Deck. Well, since then, I've just kind of been using it as my gaming PC, and it doesn't really look nice behind my TV. So we're gonna transplant those guts from one ridiculous case into another. Right after this quick word about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. I've personally had a lot of trouble with burnout over the years. I'll start some new project or hobby, and then a year or two later, it's taken over my entire life. And I've toyed with seeking professional advice for this, but I've always found the idea of trying to find a therapist and going to therapy to be intimidating. And that's exactly the kind of thing that BetterHelp helps to address. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network, giving you access to a wider range of expertise than you might find in your local area, and letting you easily switch therapists to find the best fit for you. And those sessions can be a phone call, a video chat, or even messaging, whatever feels the most comfortable to you and scheduled when it's a good time for you. To get started, just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and you'll get matched in most cases within 48 hours or less. So if you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit 
betterhelp.com slash action retro. Clicking that link helps support this channel and also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. And let's just take a moment to appreciate this case because it is glorious and so stupid and wonderful all at the same time. I just absolutely love this thing. I don't entirely know why, but it's great. Okay, so I've extricated the guts from our gaming industrial PC, and uh, this is actually a very nice setup. It's a Ryzen 7700X on an MSI Pro B650 board with built-in Wi-Fi, quite nice, and a Radeon 6750 XT with 12 gigs of RAM. However, I have some concerns. This heatsink is extremely tall. <laughs> and uh, yeah, even though the case is quite deep, I'm not sure it's gonna fit if we put the optical drive stuff on top of it. These little stabby deals on the top are slightly taller than the wood shelf here. So close, but not quite. Second issue, this wonderful video card. <laughs> it's, there's no way that's fitting in here. All right, so I am very fortunate to live very close to a micro center. So I just took a quick trip there and I have a low profile cooler and the same video card I already have, but just in a smaller version. <laughs> yeah, it's literally the same 12 gigs of RAM and everything <laughs> just not full size. I also picked up a $30 RGB fan while I was there. Yeah, $30. But it was the only RGB fan that looked cool that was the right size. All right, let's disassemble this. Boy, I sure hope this little fella is enough to cool this. <laughs> I'm gonna try and hook up the power LED and stuff before I drop this in the case because otherwise that will be very annoying. All right. Gently, gently, wrong way. <laughs> Gently. Oh yeah, she fits real nice. And of course we have to get our RGB fan in place. And then for internal speakers, I'm gonna go extremely professional and just double-sided tape these USB speakers in there. Yeah, actually I can just double-sided tape this volume control right here. Oh, thank goodness, <laughs> it fits. All right, it is together. And uh, I have my mashing hammer here in case it tries to fight back. Boy, I hope this works. It's alive. Oh yeah, we are booting into Chimera OS. And the front panel USB ports work. Oh, I am excited. And the speakers work. <laughs> Excellent. All right, now I can get slightly disappointed by Starfield in 1930s style. <laughs> by the way, if you're not familiar with Chimera OS, it's an open source Steam Deck alternative operating system that also works great to make like a desktop PC into a Steam gaming console, which is basically what I've done here. 
I'll link to that in the description below because you can turn pretty much anything with an AMD GPU into a decent sort of a Steam Deck. <laughs> The speakers in the case really add to it. <laughs> it is perfect. I thought I finished this quest. Ah, crap. Did I not save? I did not. Okay, so this was certainly a bit of a silly project, but joke's on you, I just so happen to love silly projects. And <laughs> I'm quite pleased with this case because it is just the perfect amount of ridiculous and amazing that I love. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go stick this back behind my TV and try to be mildly disappointed the rest of the way through Starfield. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more shenanigans, not quite like this, but probably similar, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. And a special thanks to Alex Hoffman 1, Alex Hoffman 2, Andrew Nicholson, April White, Chris Biggs, Chris Calderon, Chris Nelson, Control Out Reese, Daniel Hubbard, Eric Shields, Frodo Jedi, Gaspar Heller, George F. Rosansky, Greg from Prot Game Mods, James Fryman, James Laurie, Jason Papaz, Jason Zell, Camille Rakowski, Lyle Truid, Matthew Crowall, Paul Spencer, Ryan, Scott Cedarbaum, Scott Thompson, Tom Woodfin, Unknown Soldier 41, who are my highest tiered patrons and all of my Patreon supporters for helping to make these videos possible.